Wahoo, Cyclops, or Tassix, or Tax. I still can't quite figure that one out. What are the differences between these smart trainers? Personally, Did you jump out? I don't have much of an idea, but the gentleman I was with yesterday, his name's Gabe Sullins. He's the owner of Cannondale Dealer based here in Melbourne, Urban Peddler. 20 plus years of industry experience and the official dealer to a number of these smart trainers. He kindly walked us through the different functions and features of the Wahoo, the Tassix, and also the Cyclops. Now for the first seven minutes, we walked through the different functions and features of these different smart trainers. And if you wanna go deep on flywheels, for the last three minutes, Gabe explains the impact, fl uh, impact flywheels have on overall ride quality on these machines. Hope you enjoyed this video. But whilst I'm here, can you explain to me the difference between all these trainers that you've got here, the, the Wahoo, the Cyclops, and the, is it, the, is it Tax or Tassix? Tax, I believe, is the main thing. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Yeah. But uh, some, of the, some of the main things, and it really I think what we want to talk about is the ones that people are talking about today, the most popular ones are the direct drives. Okay. So those are ones where the, the bike attach, attaches to the trainer and you can see that the rear wheel's taken off and there's a cassette mounted onto the trainer. Yeah, right. Now, one of the main benefits of that is the whole thing is lower. If you've used a traditional trainer in the past, you re it's really tall to get up and over it yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because it's, everything's sitting higher because the rear wheel's rubbing on the drum. So when we're talking about just the direct drive units, now we've got some of the most popular models here and we'll, we'll go in price order. Yep. We'll start with the Tax Flux. Yeah, okay. Now the Flux is, it's a, it's a solid trainer. It's got a traditional flywheel on it. Well, how much is it? Uh, 1099. 1099. 1099. Okay. Now um, it is direct drive and it has a lot of the, the main features that everyone's looking for in a smart trainer. Uh, it is also more one of the more popular ones because of the price. Right. Okay. Now it uses a traditional flywheel, and that's important when we get to the Neo. We'll kind of talk a little bit about that. Um, now going up in price, we're talking about the next. The kicker is probably uh, overall. I think has really got the most popularity on the market. Uh, it's definitely the one, the brand that people recognize the most. They really owned very uh, very early on. They owned the whole smart trainer um, idea, and were they've. They the, were they the first? I don't. I, can't tell you if they okay. were the first, okay. but they were the first that I remember. Okay, yeah, right. Um, yes, and, I and I was around when it was happening. So the, the neat thing about the Wahoo is they've worked with a lot of the, the, the app developers and they were first to go in and work with Zwift and some of the other ones. So that when you're using their, their uh, trainer with the apps, you'll find that they're seamless. Almost every one of them is seamless. Yeah, okay. Now the, the so hammer was kind of a late comer and you'll notice that they had a couple rough edges and is now it I the believe- Cyclops? That's the Cyclops. It's called the hammer. Now, one of the neat things about the hammer is it's really easy to fold up. So you pull that, you do the other side and it's got a handle built in. Yeah, right. Now, if you are in a house where you have to put up your trainer after you use it every time, that is an extremely important feature. Yeah, true. It's one of the more quiet ones as well. So um, the, si the hammer is a solid one. I've had this in my house for the last six months and have, and have been using it. And uh, it has been one of my favorites. It's also, very easy to change the axle caps on here for through axles. So if you want to put a mountain bike or a road bike that has through axles, these caps unscrew literally with your hand. Yeah, okay. So you don't need any crazy tools and you've got a little bag of adapters that comes with the trainer. So it's not as easy to do that with the other trainers? It's not. Right, and uh, okay. that, honestly, I'll tell you, if you have a road bike with through axles and, or you have a mountain bike with through axle that you want to use, one of ha maybe has boost, and that's, those are all issues. We're, we're talking about different axle lengths and caps that you need to work with. So all of those caps come in the box and you just unscrew them with your hands and put them on and, and put the through axle through right. that comes with your bike. Yeah. So the, as far as compatibility with disc brakes and through axles, this is definitely a win. My road bike has a through axle and disc brakes. Right. And I have had issues with some of the other trainers and compatibility. So I found this one very, very easy to use. Yep. Um, I also currently don't have the luxury of leaving my trainer out all the time right. and I have to put it up after every use. Right. You don't want to decide to get on the trainer and 30 minutes later you're on it after setting everything up. It's got to be quick. Mm. Um, so I, that's one of the things that I really How liked about one? this one. This is 1649. 1649. Yep. Right. So um, the, the Wahoo is 1599. So these are pretty close in price. Uh, the Wahoo does fold up pretty easily. Um, but I, I just, uh, it, 
the name of this one. This is the one that's I'm actually trading out the hammer this week and going for the Wahoo because we've just recently become a Wahoo dealer. And uh, this one I'm going to give a good run over the next few months. Right. Um, reliability and the name out there is definitely top. Now the last one on the list is the Neo. Now the Neo is unique in that it uses a virtual flywheel. So if you notice most of the trainers have what looks to be the drive system and then a pulley system yep. that drives a big flywheel and it's spinning that flywheel up. It gives you the feeling of accelerating. Yep. And then when you decide to stop pedaling, it coasts down slowly and that's that flywheel continuing to spin. The Neo uses a virtual flywheel. So it's actually using a computer controlled motor to drive that rear end. Oh. So if you decide to stop pedaling, it figures, well, you weigh 80 kilos, you're on a 7% gradient, you should be able to coast at this speed and it'll actually drive the speed up. So the virtual flywheel matches your weight of acceleration and deceleration closer to your weight more than a fixed flywheel on all the other trainers. Right. And then it has the downhill drive, which actually will drive it when you're coasting. Right. Now that affects your riding in the realism of your riding a little bit. You don't really notice it until you try a trainer like that. So I'd say it just takes the realism one step further on the Neo, but it's also the most expensive of this bunch. Okay. So that is $18.99 for the Neo. Right. Now the Neo, none of the other trainers come with cassettes, and that's one thing that's neat about the Wahoo, it comes with a cassette. Ah. An 11-speed cassette already mounted on it, which I'd say 90% of the people that we sell trainers to have 11-speed bikes. So and so you've got to buy a cassette if you buy one of the other trainers? Yeah. You buy, usually you get a trainer and then if you want to use your heart rate monitor and you want to use um, your cadence sensor, then to get that data in, you need an ANT Plus antenna. So a little dongle that goes into your laptop. So there are little things that you've got to figure out um, that, that you've got to add on and then you get into the accessories and things like that too. Right. But that, that cassette is one of the neater ones, right. having that in the box for $15.99. Right, so what's your most popular? Right now it's the Wahoo by far. It's taken off like a, like, a, like a fire with us. And that being the ones that really got into the smart trainers first and they've owned it and it's, we've been waiting four years to become a dealer. So we're now a dealer and we've, I, I think we've run through like six of them in the last week. So yeah, okay. it's definitely working the best for us. Okay, cool. Night, so the compression and expansion of the longitudinal waves cause the erratic oscillation, you can see it there, of the neighboring particles. So Gabe and I were just going deep on flywheels together. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah, do you want to tell me that again? Yeah, so these trainers use a flywheel to offset the body weight of the rider. So if you're a heavy so the rider, flywheel is... the flywheel uh, on the Wahoo, I think it's, I think it's this piece here. It's really dense yeah, okay. and heavy. It might even be lead. I don't know what they make out of it. But if you look on the hammer, you've got something that's heavy underneath this shroud and that's what takes a little while to spin up yeah right and that's on all your trainers you have something heavy that it takes a little while to spin up and a little while to spin down and that's what gives you that sense of realism on these trainers yeah. but the the if you are a heavyweight rider then that flywheel is not big enough to offset your body weight to make it realistic because a heavyweight rider should take longer to accelerate What's a heavyweight rider, like 90 plus kilos, 90 plus kilos? Yeah, okay. That little flywheel is nothing. So zoom, you just spin up to speed super quick yeah. on the sit on if you're using Zwift or whatever, you'll notice it's really easier than it would be in the real world. Yeah, okay. And then a big heavy rider, a 90 kilo rider, when they let off the gas and start to coast, they have more momentum and they can go longer. But a lightweight mm -hmm. flywheel relative to their weight would spin down more quickly than it would be for their weight. Yes, okay. Okay, does that make sense? Yep. Okay, so if you have a heavy flywheel, it's good for riders that are heavier riders and a lighter flywheel would benefit lighter riders. Yeah. Well, all of these trainers come with one flywheel. And if you look and you dig in, dig into the specs, you can actually find the weight of the flywheel or the virtual weight of the flywheel, oh. how many kilograms it's meant to same? offset. They the and they're not the same. Oh, right. um, and then if you get into one of the advantage, one of the tech advantages that the Tax Neo has is it uses a virtual flywheel. So from your profile, when you've logged into a program, it knows how many kilograms you weigh. Mm -hmm. And then it's knowing the gradient that you're riding on. So it adjusts the sensitivity of that flywheel right. to your body weight. So it makes it, it more have, realistic. It doesn't have a flywheel. It doesn't have a flywheel. So it's so what is it? it's no. using a, a combination of a motor and its resistance 
to make it feel more realistic to you. So it's computer controlled using a motor um, and basically it, it, if you're a 90 kilogram rider and you're riding a Neo, it'll take longer to wind up just like it would in, in real life, but you'll also coast longer when you let off the gas like you would in real life. Yeah, okay. um, and if, you're a, if you log in and you're a 60 kilo rider, then that flywheel, virtual flywheel, will be adjusted according to your weight and be more realistic for you. So that's a tech advantage when you get the top of the line trainer, yeah. but uh, most people are, fall into the average range and the, and the flywheel feels fine, but it is just a little thing that goes towards making it more realistic. And when it's more realistic, it's more engaging. And when it's more engaging, you're more likely to enjoy it and do it more often. So every little feature that these companies are adding as they keep doing uh, new improved versions of their trainers, it's all towards making it more realistic so that you can really thoroughly enjoy and immerse yourself in the experience of the indoor ride.